Welcome back, everybody. Let's say hello to John Baptiste. What's happening with you? What's the word? <laughs> it was good to see you this weekend. People out there don't know, but we, we saw each other at our friend John Alter's uh, book party for his book, uh, His Very Best, about Jimmy Carter. And there you were. I know it's been months, seven months, since March 12th I last saw you. It is so different to see you in person. I had to fight the urge to give you a hug, but that's that's just not hygienic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody wearing the mask. You know, it's a strange time, but it was good to see you. I could feel your heart. I could feel the energy from you. So we got to make that happen again soon, please. A absolutely. Uh, Evie's here. Can you want to say hi? There, hold on. Oh, wait, yeah. Just, just waving at the camera right there. Right there, that camera. That's where he's looking at me from. <laughs> hey, Evie. Hey. Uh, John, you got, you got uh, anything on your mind or anything on your fingers? I was working on the uh, the Kamala song. Oh, it's, it's this, we got to get it going, man. Can you, you know? take it to the next level? Yeah, we we got we we doing it. We gonna make it happen. I'm 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 gonna send it to you. Check it out. Please send it to Kamala. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Get a producer credit. <laughs> she can give me some some pointers on there. But yeah, it's got the. Yeah, you know that, that yeah, sure. energy. It's 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 positive. It's uplifting. It drives. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. All right. That's where we at. I smell a single. All right. John Baptiste, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, John. Later on. Yes, indeed. Now, as much of a log flume of lies this weekend has been, there are signs Trump may be feeling better because this morning he tweeted 16 times. Turns out another side effect of dexamethasone is restless thumb syndrome. Now, I'm not going to read all of them to you, but see if you can spot a trend. Stock market highs. Vote. Strongest ever military. Vote. Law and order. Vote. Religious liberty. Vote. 401k. Vote. Space Force. Vote. A little bit louder now. Vote. A little bit softer now. Vote. I'm a big liar now. Vote. Very contagious now. Vote. Hey. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> What is wrong with you? Archie Bell and the Drells, I apologize to them. For them. I can understand why Trump is desperate to fire up his base because there are a bunch of new polls out, and they're not good for the president. The latest NBC News, Wall Street Journal, Amy's Black Bean Vegetable Soup poll found that Biden's national lead over Trump jumped to 14 points after the debate. Evidently, middle America did not respond to Trump's core message of Nazis, stand by and await my further orders. The debate seems to have really hurt Trump with voters saying by two to one that Biden has the better temperament to be president. After the debate, voters also found that Trump has worse temperament to be president than a coke-addled mongoose or a machete duct taped to a Roomba. It's not just nationally. The latest New York Times, Siena College, Depends Protection Plus poll found that by overwhelming margins, voters in Pennsylvania and Florida were repelled by President Trump's conduct in the first general election debate. His behavior was so rude, he offended Florida. Normally, they don't get upset unless you use your salad fork on your dessert meth. Apparently, voters aren't feeling too sympathetic about Trump's illness either. The latest Reuters, Ipsos, Wendy's, Triple Quad, Baconator poll found that 65% of voters agreed that if President Trump had taken coronavirus more seriously, he probably would not have been infected. Well, yeah, he's consistently downplayed the risk, refused to wear a mask, and at Amy Coney Barrett's nomination, Trump himself manned the kissing booth. So with numbers sagging, Trump is eager to get back on the trail. According to one advisor, the president is chomping at the bit to hit the road again. And chomping at the bit is not a figure of speech. Dr. Conley has put him on a course of horse amphetamines. In fact, one member of the president's team told Fox Business that Trump will be back to full frontal campaigning. <laughs> very, very soon. Full frontal. Yes, that way, every state is a swing state. <laughs> Trump's campaign staff also wants him back out there. They believe the president being hospitalized undercuts his main attribute over Biden, that he appears stronger and tougher. Yes, you don't want voters to know the president is mortal. 
that clashes with their main message of man strong, tie long. But this is shocking, but shockingly not surprising. Indoor events are expected to continue and the Trump campaign will not require mask use. In fact, they're gonna make it a feature. Leave your mask at home and win a Jello lunch with the president. We'll be right back with John Bon Jovi. Yeah, Bon Jovi.